Well, we're 300 miles from Los Angeles, 104 degrees. Lake Mead behind me, we get about a quarter of the water in Southern California from here for non-agricultural uses. You see the white lines on the rocks behind me. That's where the water level used to be. So this is an ongoing and increasingly alarming situation. This is Lake Mead at historic lows. The so-called bathtub ring showing where the water level used to be. A decline that began some 20 years ago and is accelerating. Alarming to locals and tourists like Rudd Baker. Yeah, I am a bit worried because the, the water level is rather low. Low? Yeah. Take a look at the dramatic satellite views from space of a shrinking Lake Mead, the nation's largest man-made reservoir, providing water to Arizona, Nevada, California, Mexico, through the Colorado River Project. Lower levels here mean less supply for all customers, whether for agriculture, commercial, or residential use. William Deverell is a USC history professor. So if I'm in Southern California looking at these pictures of Lake Mead, what should I be doing? Conserving water at every chance you get. Um, conserving water at the individual level, conserving water at the citywide or even countywide level, statewide level, um, thinking hard about different uses of water, you can see by the numbers the continued decline in recent years in the water level. Certainly this drought has been a slow-moving disaster. If it gets below 1,000 feet, it will no longer be able to power the hydroelectric turbines at nearby Hoover Dam. We are definitely getting to a point of crisis mode. Uh, if nothing else, this has been a wake-up call for the past two decades. Some of us have woken up and taken the conservation initiative and taken water efficiently seriously, and those of us who haven't done that yet need to do it now. So back live, Alex and Christine, all of this used to be water, so you can really see the dramatic effects of the drought when we're here, it's tough to really visualize it when we're told in Los Angeles we have to turn off the hose or take shorter showers, but all this is why. And it's just one of many stories here at Lake Mead. Coming up at 6, have you heard about the bodies that are showing up now that the lake level's going down? We'll talk about that live from Lake Mead in Nevada. I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.